Hey everyone, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. I hope you're all doing well. March 15th, 2018 is my 26th birthday. So as per tradition, here is my birthday time capsule for the next year. As I turn 26, I am now back living in Wellington, this time in my very own home. I am working as a social and content manager for a really awesome company and I'm absolutely loving my job. And Nick and I are engaged. Nick and I actually got engaged on my 25th birthday last year in New York. And next year when I turn 27, Nick and I will be married. As I turn 26, I am still obsessed with the Hamilton music, no surprises there. I've also been listening to the new Wombats album called Beautiful People Will Ruin Your Life on repeat. I am re-watching Gilmore Girls, I'm like halfway through season 2 I think, so I've still got a while to go. And I'm also obsessed with this dress that I bought the other day and I'm loving it. I am back to six piercings, still all in my ears. In about September of last year I took out my industrial, this piercing up here, and took out whatever this one was called in this part of my ear. Um, but after a couple weeks I decided that I actually still wanted my industrial so that is back in. In last year's birthday time capsule I decided that 25 was going to be the year that I get a tattoo. And I almost followed through with this. While I was in Canberra my best friend and I wanted to get cute little matching best friend tattoos but unfortunately the place that we went to get them done didn't have any walk-in appointments available that day so that's still the plan just next time I see her. Some of the big focuses for this year are all about wedding planning and continuing on with our home renovations both of which are going really well. Compared to some of the previous years when Nick and I were living in London and traveling as much as we could, as often as we could, it's definitely slowed down. I've been to Canberra since I turned 25 and that is it. Um, I have seen a lot more of New Zealand though which is really exciting and I definitely have travel plans for the future but at the moment the money that we would normally spend on travel is going towards things like the house renovations and the wedding so still good causes. One thing that I didn't mention in my 25 video but was a goal before I turned 26 was to get my restricted license and to finally get off my learner license which I managed to do just in the nick of time at the beginning of February so now before I turn 27 if it's possible I want to get my full license. One of the other things that I'm starting to work on but I think is going to be a goal before I turn 27 is to try and develop a sense of style. I feel like before I left for London I kind of like knew what my style was and I really enjoyed getting up and getting dressed and over the last year or so my body shape has changed quite a lot so now I don't really know what my style is or clothes that I used to really like wearing before uh, I don't really feel comfortable in anymore so over the next year I want to start curating my wardrobe a bit more and buying more pieces that I feel like are me personality wise. In the next year before I turn 27 Nick will be turning 30 which is really exciting so I have a bit of a secret trip planned for him for his birthday. Uh, we will be getting married which is cool in itself but it also means that I'm going to get the opportunity to see a bunch of my friends from London, from Australia, from South Africa, some of whom I haven't seen for a very long time so I'm really really excited to basically just have a friend reunion at the same time as the wedding. House renovation wise I want to try and get our bedroom and the bathroom done before I turn 27. Whether that will happen, who knows. I think the bedroom is definitely possible but the bathroom of course costs a bit more money. Um, I want to continue posting one video every week. So far I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job and over the last couple of weeks I've been trying to like get back on track with my content and not just posting vlogs and I've really been enjoying it so hopefully I can continue that as well. Overall the year between 25 to 26 was pretty awesome for me and I have no doubt that the year between 26 and 27 is going to be the same thing. So 27 year old Smay, if you're watching this video, I hope you are still happy and enjoying your house innovations and are enjoying being married. I don't think I set myself any goals in my 25 video to achieve before I turn 26 because I knew that the year was going to be quite hectic anyway with moving back to New Zealand and getting back settled, uh, finding a house, finding a job and things like that. So I guess we will see at the end of my 26th year when I'm turning 27 if I have achieved the things that I've set myself in this video. Thank you very much for watching, I'm going to go eat some cake. Uh, have a good day. Bye!